Hey guys, Tasha here from Starter Gold Crochet. Welcome to the Winstitch 2020 tutorial on how to export your pattern to a PDF file. We're also going to export it from an image. So we're going to jump right in. You're going to go up to Import Export, scroll down to Tunisian Crochet Gafgan. It's going to open a dialog box that's going to give you some options. So the first option you want to choose is your method to do nothing because we don't need to do anything with this. We don't want any rows removed. Then for our order, we're gonna go down and you can choose C2C or row by row, left to right. Um, it gives you a little sample off there to the right with the rainbow on which direction your pattern will be written out. So for lefties, there's options. For righties, there's options. Alternating left and right, you got lots of choices. I'm going to do row by row because that's the way that I want my pat hat pattern to come out. But you can also do C2C. I choose blocks for my identifier, but you can choose symbols, thread numbers, however you'd like. Everything looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and click PDF. Then I'm going to save it. I can also change my preferences here by adding a title, adding notes, or you can even go down and swap out different things below in these boxes down here. I'm not real familiar with those. I don't use them. I might when I start to do other kinds of projects, but for now I'm just going to leave them blank and I'm going to leave the bobbles blank. So here it's going to ask to save your file. So you save it wherever you'd like. I'm going to put mine on my desktop and rename it diamond winter beanie by the way I'm gonna put this pattern on my blog after that your PDF pops up and here's my row by row written pattern which is awesome we're also gonna do saving it as an image so you can save the entire graph as an image so in order to do that you're gonna to go to your file menu scroll down to print a dialog box will pop up and you want to choose preview so you can see that we need to make a few modifications so we're going to go back to settings I'm going to increase the width of my page to 73 pixels which is how many things I'm going to choose bottom up because that's how I want my pattern you can change the line thickness add a title and also add a copyright if you'd like of course you can play around with these settings these are just the settings I like to use. You also have a few options here. You can add, uh, add or remove page number, a print key, which I don't need. I don't need a page map. So I'm going to go back to preview and see what it looks like. And it's not horizontal, so I need to make it horizontal so it can be bigger. So I'm going to go to my page setup, do a landscape mode, and then refresh it go back to settings and then go back to preview and that looks good to me so once I'm satisfied I go down to export export it as a PNG you can export it as a PDF and also to Word from that file menu too but I'm going to do an image because that's what we're working on so go ahead and title it and save it to wherever you'd like and then it'll be right there for you as your image. And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Hit the little bell button to be notified for future Winstitch tutorials and also free crochet patterns. Take care, guys. Happy crocheting.